Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at our Invest94, of course, it is en route to the Caribbean, and it is likely to become a name store maybe by the mid to latter part of next week. And then we also have a new area that is highlighted where we could see some development taking place. So before I go into details with these systems, All right, so let us go ahead and start off with that newly highlighted area. And so as of right now, the chance is at 20% and we're not seeing an X. So X usually shows uh, the low pressure center of the system. And so we're not seeing that as yet. And that's because that low pressure system has not yet formed. So uh, if you guys watched my previous videos, you would have seen where uh, Icon, I believe, was the first model to call something developing in the Gulf of Mexico. And so here we have this area now being highlighted by the National Hurricane Center. So we could have a low pressure system forming in this region and we might see some development taking place once conditions are conducive. After the name Bonnie, the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Colin. So if Invest 94L becomes Bonnie and this thing here then develops, it will achieve the name Colin. And so now let's go ahead to invest 94L. We'll take a look at the latest on it as well as what our models are expecting and current conditions. And so as of right now, the chance hasn't increased since yesterday. We still see a 60% chance for possible development and uh, it's looking a little bit better organized. Let's take a look at it on satellite here and we're seeing that uh, it is still disorganized but it is improving. So as time goes by as it accelerates into more conducive conditions, it is going to be looking a lot better as it eventually intensifies. So it is likely that maybe by the midweek, this thing here is going to be approaching the Windward Islands. And so again, guys, if you are in any of the Windward Islands, please take all the necessary precautions because this thing here could definitely bring some uh, dangerous conditions. It might not be a very strong storm, but just the rainfall could be very significant, especially if this thing is a slow mover at the time. But as of right now, it is moving at around 15 to 20 miles per hour thereabouts. So not moving very slowly, but as it approaches the Caribbean, let's see what's going to be happening with it. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expected. And so first up, we have GFS. And then this is by Monday on the 27th of June. And so we're seeing that GFS is showing that first tropical wave uh, crossing over the Leicester Antilles into the Eastern Caribbean. But behind it, we have uh, Invest 94 L. And going to Wednesday on the 29th, uh, GFS is showing that it is going to be crossing over the lesser, uh, over the Windward Islands right there. And then up to the Gulf of Mexico, we see something a little interesting there. So maybe that storm that we talked about earlier trying to develop in that region. And uh, uh, GFS is expecting that uh, 94L, which at that time might be a named storm, is going to be continuing to accelerate towards the west again as a result of that high pressure system steering it. And then by next weekend on Saturday the 2nd of July which is a week from now GFS is showing that this thing here is going to be making landfall in Nicaragua with a pressure of 984 millibars. So we have to wait and see what's going to be happening. So GFS is now sticking to what they were really expecting first with this system here in terms of it just continuing westward and then trotting across the South Caribbean and heading over into Central America. Alright, moving on to Euro. So Euro is agreeing with the same thing here. So by Wednesday on the 29th, it is showing that it is going to be making its way over the Windward Islands and then making its way across the South Caribbean headed to Nicaragua with a little higher pressure of about 987 millibars. So Euro and GFS are now in agreement on this again. So they're not expecting much of a northwestward motion of the system here. They're just expecting it to continue in to just move on a westward track, a general westward track. All right, let's go on to CMC and see what they're expecting. And so this is by Wednesday on the 29th of June. So CMC is expecting that this thing here is going to be pretty strong when it is going to be uh, making its way over the Windward Islands, a pressure of 993 millibars. So that is 
an intensified tropical storm by Saturday on the 2nd of July next weekend. We're seeing that this thing here is just south of Jamaica with a pressure of 984 millibars. And then uh, CMC has this thing here crossing into the vicinity of Belize and the Yucatan with a pressure of 985 millibars and then over into the Bay of Campeche. So, uh, CMC apparently is expecting that that high pressure system is going to be weakening a little bit which would allow this thing here to move on a northwestward like track as it makes its way across the Caribbean and then eventually into the Bay of Campeche but we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening because over the past couple of days the models have been changing and that is expected because we're still pretty far out uh, and this thing here is not likely to be approaching until the next several days so we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening all right now and so let's look at the ensemble tracks here so for the euro we're seeing that majority of them are agreeing with what the general model run is expecting a system here a tropical storm just making its way uh westward across the region and gfs is showing a bit more variation uh especially in terms of the intensity as well but for the most part uh a tropical storm that is going to be moving generally westward maybe with some northwestward motion and so that is really it for those um, models and so let's look at the ocean temperature map and we are seeing that things are just warm right now favorable conditions for us to see some uh, to see intensification in terms of the sea surface temperatures and so the warmest area is just in the northern gulf of mexico just off the gulf coast states of the u.s take a look at that that light pinkish shade that shows about 31 degrees plus that is pretty warm so it's those warm ocean temperatures that enable rapid intensification especially in the peak of the hurricane season where sometimes these systems they make their way up to the gulf and then they just explosively intensify uh, becoming major hurricanes and so this is the reason because of the very warm ocean temperatures within the area so for that gulf disturbance let's not uh, underestimate it let's wait and see what's going to be happening but if you're in texas please keep an eye out for this thing here so again that low pressure system has not yet developed so development is not imminent with this but we definitely have to watch this as we're going to be heading into the new week and then finally moving to the saharan dust and so as of right now, we have our Invest 94L making its way south of that uh, mass of Saharan dust that is to the north of it. So it is going to maintain that westward track, staying mainly south of the Saharan dust, but maybe some of it might infiltrate the system. And things are expected to be more conducive as time goes by for this system here. But if we have a lot of dry air intrusion, it is not likely that we will see a lot of intensification taking place. And so guys, that is really it for this update video. Video. And so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be wise.